one, this is Weaver. Come in. Over. This is Weaver. Come in. Anything? Over. Who got? Contact. Contact. That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. What is it? I found some of the others. Johnson. Weaver. They were good men. What is Walker after? <sighs> He's lost it. Ever since that shit went down with Vaughn, I should have stopped him then. You know, Vaughn was worthless. Sure. But it didn't have to go down that way. What did you do? There was, uh... I thought someone was gonna shoot me. This is our village, Vaughn. These are fucking allies. She had a weapon. Yeah, she had a gun. Well, I don't see no fucking gun. No, she had a weapon. See? She left me no choice. You gotta be kidding me. You're done. You have wasted too much of my fucking time as it is. No, you can't do this to me. You did this to you. No, this is your fault. You kept riding me. Oh, Christ. Pushing me. You don't. You don't. Oh, man, my dad is gonna hear what you did to me. You fucking worm. You cry to your daddy? That what you're gonna do? Every single time you fuck up, you put the blame on someone else, don't you? Anytime you're in trouble, you just wait for that daddy of yours to swoop on in, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Your daddy, he ain't here. Fuck you. I'm a good soldier. I'm a good soldier! You are a worthless fucking human being. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on. Vaughn, give me your weapon. Come on. Walker. Done. Well, now he's done. Besides, if I didn't kill that worthless pogue, the whole village might have come after us.
It is ain't right, Walker! You know the rest. I know you didn't testify. You kept him out of the brig. I should have said something. Then we wouldn't be in the shitstorm. No. You did good. Tell that to my soldiers he just shot. Find anything at Skull? This was in the computer lab. Well, that underground lab must still be in one piece. Let's go check it out. I don't know. I want to recon Walker's men. Find out what he's after. You see any familiar faces? Don't assume they're friendly. You too. We'll link up back here. You Jay Skell? Come on, we gotta move. All right, listen. My name is Nomad. I'm part of a team sent here to see what the hell's going on with Aroa. Now, Maurice Fox said I could trust you. To be honest, I don't. But the people coming after you are trying to kill me. So what do you say we help each other? Is Fox working with Ayana Puri? The woman who took over as CEO? Who's working with those animals? No. No, he's in the cave with Matt Shells. Cave? You know what? It's it's cooler than it sounds. Come on, grab your stuff. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta move. It's my fault. All of this. I can fix it. Yeah. That's just the drones. Operation Citadel. Right now, Citadel's keeping people in. But we can use it to free Aurora. Hey, tell me. What does Walker have to do with any of this? Walker was our military advisor. He led the takeover of Aurora. All he wanted was the drones. I thought he was a friend. Yeah. yeah. I did too. Well, that just brings a tear to my eye. Go, go, go! Glad that you're still above ground. No thanks to your lack of trying. You have to know this is not personal. He has a reason for being here, and it makes sense. Hey, don't be an idiot. That man is a traitor. He's a revolutionary. And we have a plan to make the world better. You, know, you killed my soldiers. You killed Weaver. We've chosen become the warriors we were meant to be. Your masters, they just... they don't believe in anything. We'll make you an offer, Nomad. Hand over Jace. Join us. You, you gonna turn me over? No. Good old Nomad. You always were righteous. 
That class is bulletproof. Like hell it is. We need to get out of here. That's the way out. We vent toxic fumes through there. They might kill us. They will definitely kill us. with Sentinel, all right? My name is Nomad. Jay Skell sent me. He and I are trying to take down a section of the drone perimeter. The back door. She wants us to close the back door. Yeah. You're on the computer security team. You're really working with Jace? Yeah, let's just say we have a common agenda. You have no idea what this South African bitch does to people. To make them work. To make them do what she wants or think what she wants him to think, even just to get a confession. I've known people impressed by her set of skills. Where's Fad Zabi? Where is Fat Zabi? The hell, Vaughn? Been at this for days. You gonna keep talking to him or you gonna do something? Yeah, well, waterboarding doesn't work, so... I don't know what else to do. You don't know what to do? Run, run! Run, run! Walk around. Hey, what the hell, man? Ah, uh, let him be. Breaking shins is illegal. Uh, ah! Zabi Kurjas. The valley you call Pandora's box. Please! Order up. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, now you know we can't be doing that shit. Christ's sake. But you want to split hairs over what's legal and what's not? Shit, this ain't nothing compared to what would happen if we handed them off to a real contractor. We used to work with this, uh, badass blonde haired bitch from South Africa. She loved torture. Took pleasure out of it. But let me tell you something. She got answers. Yeah, now that was a confession you could count on. Goddamn daddy's boy Bond. Taking his instructions out of his FM, playing office politics. You really want to work with a shitbird like that? Wouldn't you rather have a, a competent contractor in your corner? Yeah. Well, not a bad day's work. I'll have my medium rare. Oops. <laughs> it's your problem. You guys are tasked to me. You're my thugs with guns. I'm gonna be real clear with you, Vaughn. We're here to babysit you. We don't answer to you. Now, you just stay out of our way. We'll roll you over. Some people I used to know were willing to work with a woman like that. What's your name? Carl. My name's Carl. Carl? I have to get into that prison and save the rest of your team. Impossible. That place used to be a survival shelter for natural disasters. It's sealed tighter than Fort Knox. Uh, well, who can get me in? I don't know. I heard some of the soldiers complaining. The office manager of that site. He's living it up in the Antares district. It was like a resort for Skeltec employees. He won't talk. Uh, well, once I find his address, I can ask him nicely. Thanks. Wait. 
The code to the cells. Only Herzog and her... The guy who helps her. Only they know it. She's always in the prison, but Sergeant Kent... The soldiers said he was going to his regular outpost. You hear a lot. When they put you in that little box, you're just happy they're not hitting you. You don't talk, but you hear everything. Thanks. You have someplace safe you can go? Because you can't go home. I have friends near here. I just can't decide where I'd rather be. Blistering cold or this shithole or that rancid heat, humidity down in Bolivia. Uh, Bolivia, any day of the week. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I got this buddy, Stone, from the Rhett teams. He, uh, he set up his own shop, doing contract work down in Mexico. He says down there, the weather is sweet, women are soft. Now, yeah, what's the Rhett team? It's retaliation team. Super secret squirrel shit. I thought we were super secret squirrel shit. <laughs> Not like me and Stone and the other two bruisers on his team. Hang on. Three targets coming out of the building, 12 o'clock, they have rifles. Ready. 325 meters. Roger that, 325. Hold center. Send it. Targets down. I don't know about contract work. Tell me that when you have two daughters headed to college. <laughs> now look at that. One unlucky fella still squirming. This really loves company. There's an asshole hanging out the doorway trying to give him a hand. Hold center. Send it. Target's down. Yeah, I don't know about old Mexico. You know, me and Stone, we, uh... Man, we never got along too good, anyhow. Hey, you didn't fart in my rack, did you? How's it going? Yeah, it's been quiet. <sighs> Wake me up if, uh, things get thrilling. Hey, did you find Paula? Sure, but she won't come here. She kind of hates me right now. <laughs> you, uh, kind of didn't mention that. I thought she'd be over that. Things on a roll the way they are. Hope she'd help us out. Once I said your name, she wouldn't even talk to me. What's Project Deus? Project Deus isn't the problem. Problem is, she can only see the harm it can do. Great to see you again. Great to see you too, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Walker? Paula Madeira. Please, call me Cole. Paula is Skeltech's most brilliant engineer. Now, now. I've seen your uh, designs, ma'am. I'd say that brilliant, that's an understatement. And I've seen your resume. It's heavily redacted. <laughs> yeah. See, I take it that uh, that's not for the field test. No, that won't be ready for a few months. I want to ask you, the uh, work you're doing on deep learning AI controlling these drones, how's that going? Excuse me? Using deep learning AI? How? Specifically, uh, data mining, target identification. We haven't um, explored those options yet. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you have the top computer scientists in the world developing some sort of supercomputer and you... Uh, haven't explored those options yet? He's talking about Maddox. He's talking about Project Deus. Imagine it. Using this beast of a computer. Predictive analytics. 
Finding terror threats. Eliminating them with drones. You want to build a super intelligent computer, and the first thing you want to do with it is kill people? No, oh, ma'am. First thing I want to do is keep the free world safe. I'm sure that you, uh... Well, you understand that. And who's going to keep the free world safe from Project Deus? <laughs> How could you? I want nothing to do with this. Don't... Just... Paula! <laughs> Jace... If she's truly brilliant... Should come around. So you and Walker were pals, huh? Everyone was... Nomad. We need Paula's help. No one knows the system better than she does. I like you, genius. But some of your choices get people hurt. What the hell, Cole? That kid had friends in high places. We here to make the world a better place. We here to get a promotion. I always thought you were a little unbridled. But you're just an asshole. Sir, the lieutenant was out of control. He was mentally unstable, a danger to us and to the entire... Don't give me that shit, nomad. If Lieutenant Vaughn hadn't killed that civilian, the pair of you would be rotting in a hole in Leavenworth. Now, you always knew he was fucking useless. Everybody complained about his shitty work, goddamn sense of entitlement. You can't kill someone just because he's bad at his job. We are here to complete a task, sir. Would you sacrifice our mission? Would you risk our lives just because that kid's daddy is a senator? You're out of line, Walker. What are you gonna do, sir? You gonna charge me? You know something that'd be worth it? This here is about what's right. What's right? Murdering an officer of the United States Army is right! What's right is getting an incompetent counterintelligence officer off the goddamn battlefield. Who the fuck? What's right is protecting our mission from a privileged brat who fucks our shit up worse than the enemy does. Colonel, you cannot What's right is standing up for something? Even though we got a sniveling hypocrite as a boss, a man with no balls, no vision. Walker, ease up. You listen to your friend, Colonel. You're ghosts, but you're not untouchable. I can't stand this shit anymore. What the fuck are we doing working for these assholes? They don't care how hard we work. They got no fucking idea about what it is we do. Listen, I stay because we do try to do what's right. Okay? No, this chain of command. Goddamn sanctimonious bastards! You are a plague on this earth! You want to do us right? Well, you can. Not here. Are you quite finished? Yeah. I think I am. Are you running from somebody or to somebody? Laugh all you can. Have you thrown down with that son of a bitch, Walker? A few weeks back, he caught some of us breaking the rules. Did you guys ever hear the one where Little Red Riding Hood goes into the forest? But this time, she's read the fairy tale. So she brings a really, really big gun. <laughs> So she's headed to Grandma's. And what do you know? Big bad wolf grabs her. And he says, no, I got you. And I'm gonna screw you on and on. Hey, Will. 
a little red, pulls out her gun, and she hikes up her skirt, and she says, no way. You're gonna eat me, just like the fairy tale. Attention! Y'all having fun? Wolves! Huh? The elite. Best of the best. But here you are. You drunk. Fraternizing with civilians. And how about you, you pathetic piece of shit? You just let that woman take your weapon. We were just... We're just trying to relax, sir. <laughs> well, shit. I'm sorry. I would not want to get in the way of you trying to relax. And the pistol's not loaded, sir. Seems loaded to me. Uh, what do you think? You think you belong in my wolves? You think you belong on my battlefield? Well, let's see. fast. I've never seen a man move that fast. If I hadn't run, I'd be dead. He killed the others. Miss Puri. You must have some idea where Mr. Skell has uh, skidded off to. I can assure you, Mr. Stone, I have no idea. This archipelago is large. He has many friends. He could literally be anywhere. Are his friends your friends? There a problem here, Stone? Well, hello, Colonel. Cole. Miss Puri was just uh, explaining that in order to find Jay's skill, we need to start raiding houses. I'm dragging folks out into the street in the middle of the night. Your kind of mischief. Know what your problem is, Stone? You like elegance. So why don't you regale us with your military genius? How do we apprehend... How do we apprehend... Jace Scale? How about we throw a little psyops? Maybe Miss Puri here, she can, uh, yeah, she can assist you. Wait, we see who turns Jay Scale in, and then your, uh, little band of rent cops can go and collect him. Oh. 
Now, is that something that you think that you could handle, Stone? Battle for hearts and minds. Very convincing. And they say Jace scales the genius. All right, Colonel. I'll get right on it. You were walking a thin line, Liana. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. No. There is going to be a time where you're going to have to choose between friendship and survival. Boy, oh boy. I'm just dying to see what you choose. No man! You know, part of me is glad you're still alive. It's too bad I'm gonna have to kill you. You could just give up! Hey, you know me better than that. I don't know you at all anymore. The walker I knew never would have been a part of this. And he never would have killed his own. I've been trying to show you, you got no vision on what the future could be. No man, it's not too late. You could join me. You killed my soldiers. And you made me kill my friend. Now you're making me kill mine. No man. Wonderland. Still gonna happen. <laughs> this is the hot, hot part of Bolivia. Who's that? Eat my shit. <laughs> Only if you cuddle me after. <laughs> well, well, well. You must be nomad, Walker. Did, uh... Did you and I go through part of selection together? No, it was jump school. I was in the chalk next to yours. <laughs> That's right. But that, uh... Dude from Pararescue, right? First recon guys. <laughs> fun times, man. Well, I got, uh, got some more fun for you. This here's your briefing. Say, you, uh, you want some candy? Hey. Excuse me. We haven't even started this mission. Man's already talking about sending us back to the Middle East. Again? And that's one that never ends. That's because, uh, you know, war's easier in peace. Company man back there, who you never saw, by the way, he, uh... He believes in this fantasy, it's called Wonderland, where people never fight. 
It's all rainbows and marshmallows and unicorns and shit, but uh, I guess we could talk about that another time. Yeah. Say, Nomad, it's good to see you. You too, man. You stay healthy. Always. <laughs> Look what your Wonderland got you. You are a better man than this, Walker.